Hi Book Trust, thanks for having me. I'm Sophie Cleverly. I'm the author of the Scarlet and Ivy series. I also have a new book out called The Violet Vale Mysteries, A Case of Grave Danger. And today I'd like to show you my top five tips for writing mysteries. For me, a mystery is a question that the reader really wants to know the answer to that keeps them going throughout the book. In some ways, almost all books have a bit of a mystery to them, something that you want to know the answer to. I ended up writing mysteries because I really wanted to write something that readers couldn't put down and that would be really gripping. So here are my top five tips for writing mysteries. Number one, read and watch mysteries. It might sound obvious, but reading is one of the most important parts of writing. Getting to know the genre that you're writing really well really helps you to write it. So I recommend reading as many mysteries as possible and thinking deeply about what the authors are doing and how the story is constructed. So perhaps you could write a review or a book report where you think about the mystery and how well the author did at having that central question that keeps the main characters and the readers guessing. Don't forget that watching TV show or movie mysteries can also be really helpful for this. And I got a lot of inspiration from mystery TV shows. Number two, always make a plan. I never used to like planning and I always just wanted to get straight into the story, but I soon learned that planning is really essential for writing a mystery. You have to know the story inside out if you want to stay one step ahead of the reader at all times. Number three, work backwards and start with the solution. So when I'm planning, I start with the solution to the mystery. So I start with what actually was the, the crime or the incident that happened, whether it's a murder or missing person or some stolen jewels and then I ask myself a few questions so I think where did this take place where was the location who was responsible why did they do it how did they do it and so on then think about who is your detective who is your main character that's going to be solving this mystery and what clues will they find so say you've decided that it was some jewels that were stolen from a museum by uh, someone who wanted to steal them for the money what clues is your character going to find when they go to investigate it? Perhaps it might be footprints or fingerprints or a fragment of clothing, but you want to plan out these clues so that you almost have a trail for your character to follow. I do a lot of brainstorming and coming up with ideas until I have enough to write a full plan, which is probably about four pages for me. Number four, keep readers guessing. So the last thing you want is for your reader to guess your ending before you've got there. So you want to try and make sure you use misdirection. So that means having some twists in your tail and some red herrings to throw your readers off the scent. A twist should be something that's unexpected, but if the reader has been paying close attention, it should make perfect sense. And a red herring is a type of clue that leads nowhere or leads in the wrong direction. So perhaps the old character might find some footprints, but they might belong to a different person and not the culprit. Number five, build a satisfying ending and don't forget to edit. So you want your detective character and your reader to know everything by the end of the book. You want them to know every detail of what happened at the crime or incident, just like you do. Again, the reader should be surprised, but it should make total sense with the clues that you've given them. Reading back through your work and editing and revising it is really important to get a tight mystery plot. And you might find that you spot things that could be made into clues later. So for example, in Scarlet and Ivy, I wrote that Ivy had inherited a pearl necklace. And then I realized later on that I could make this into a clue for the identity of their mother. I hope that these mystery tips will be helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching and happy writing.